Hi there everyone, welcome back to Engineering with Preetam. In this video, we will delve deeper into sketching splines and ellipse and we will also see modifying sketches in PTC Creo Parametric. So without further ado, let's get started. So here you can already see I have opened PTC Creo Parametric and now let me quickly click here on new and then I'm gonna select part solid and then you may want it to keep name of your file I'm gonna keep it as it is um, then I'm gonna click OK now to go inside sketch we need to click here on sketch and then we need to select the plane and then click on sketch in our last video we saw line tool rectangle tool circle tool and R tool if you want to see the previous video I'm gonna put the link of that video in the description of this one and before we go ahead please consider like and subscribe to this channel to follow the complete free tutorial of PTC Creo Parametric. So let's begin today's session by talking about ellipse and spline. So we're going to start with spline first. So what basically spline is? Spline are smooth and continuous curve that can be defined using multiple control point. In PTC Creo Parametric to sketch spline we just need to click on this spline tool that is available here in sketch tab and you just need to make a left click and then you can define your first point later you can make number of necessary left clicks that will help you to create control point after creating required number of control point as we know from our previous exercise the button to skip any tool is by pressing escape button or by pressing mouse scroll wheel this time I'm gonna press escape button and that's how guys we have defined this spline but still you can see the command or tool is still selected you may want to press escape one more time so that you can completely exit from the spline tool so now here we can see we have created two spline now based on our need what we can do is we can play with these control point to customize this spline based on our need so that was all about spline now let me quickly select them and delete them by utilizing left mouse button and by pressing delete button an ellipse is a closed curve that represent elongated circle i would say in ptc crew parametric to sketch an ellipse you need to click on this ellipse tool and if I click here on this triangle, you may find that we have two options of creating ellipse. Now let's start with center and axis ellipse by making left mouse click on it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to define center of this ellipse and then I'm going to define major or minor axis. Now we will make another left click and by moving our cursor, and then again making a left click now we may press the escape button to see the dimension of this ellipse and by utilizing this measure or minor axis value we may would like to provide the value that we always want it to be so that's how guys we can create this variant of ellipse in which we need to define center first and then we define measure and minor axis the another type of ellipse here is axis and ellipse. As the name suggests, we will be defining axis ends first and then we are defining another axis of ellipse. It can be major or minor depending on what we want to produce. So in this way guys, we can see both types of ellipse present in PTC Creo Parametric. Now let me select them and press delete button to delete both. Now we will see and talk about modifying sketches. Obviously we will be covering all these tools but um, I think this one is important because since we have covered so many tools in PTG Creo Parametric starting from line, rectangle, circle, let's talk about modifying sketches. PTG Creo Parametric offer various type of tools for modifying your sketches such as trim, extend, offset and mirror these tools help you to refine your sketches geometry and create more complex shapes so let's try all these tools one by one so starting with our trim tool 
and if you want to find where exactly it is in your screen then um, you may use search bar where actually it exists so let's start with trim tool or corner tool first so in pt secure parametric trim tool is known as corner tool so let me plot some entity here so i have taken line tool and then i am just randomly drawing some of um you know different different kind of entities so here you can see i have added two line segment rectangle and circle now let me choose this corner tool and as the name suggests you will be creating a corner or indirectly this is a trim tool you just need to select two entities that you want to keep so for example here you want to create a corner and you want to keep these two entities and want to delete these two for that what you can do is you can select these two entities and you will find the remaining two entities where the intersection occurs those got trims so in this way guys you can utilize this corner tool let me create another example utilizing two line segment here again um let's say i want to keep um you know this and this so again we can see here it have created this corner so in this way guys we can utilize this corner tool i'm going to show you another way of trim here or another variant of trim which is also known as delete segment so just select the option and this is especially useful when you do not want to create corner but want to trim a certain segment where you are also seeing intersection so here we can see we have intersecting this line segment and i want to trim this one i can simply hold left mouse button and can delete the unnecessary line segment so in this way guys we can delete or trim unnecessary line segment okay so let me show you again simply select this delete segment which act as a trim then you may want to select those entities that you would like to trim so that's all about trim and it's not only limited to those entities where you see any kind of intersection you may also trim entities which passes through these reference lines so here we go how we can see how easy it is to trim inside ptc crew parametric so we have seen two trim commands which are corner and delete segment now let's talk about extend tool in order to show you extend tool scenario let me quickly create two line segment that are non parallel which means that they virtually can intersect each other at some point on right hand side let's say you want to extend them both and want to see where they're going to meet you may would like to utilize this extend tool now let's talk about extend tool the extend tool allows you to lengthen or shorten sketch entities now here if you try to find extend tool you may not able to find it because ptc guru parametric follow very simplistic approach where a same tool have multiple capability we will see that in, in case of ptc guru parametric the corner tool itself act as a extend tool as well so let me draw few line segment here that are non parallel and may meet at some point i would like to see the extend tool capability here so i can click on corner and then can select these both line segment and there we go we have extended these line segment to the intersecting section similarly let me just um you know make two line segment like this and i would like to extend this line segment up to this line segment utilizing the extend tool so let's click here on corner again and again i'm going to select both these entities but what if in case of um this kind of scenario where you really do not want to delete any entity then in such case what you can do is you may want to utilize constraint for example this coincident constraint now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that i want this end point of line segment to be coincident of this line segment so i can simply select this constraint and can extend this line segment up to the intersection of this line segment 
So this is another method how we can extend any entity to the reference entity. Now let me quickly delete all these entities and let's talk about offset tool. The offset tool creates a new sketch entity parallel to the original entity at specified distance. To create an offset sketch entity, we need to click here on this offset tool. But before we actually click on this offset tool, let's create the entity. So here you can see I'm going to create these three line segment and now let's try this offset tool. So let's click on offset tool in sketch tab and now let's select the entity which we want to offset. So let's say this is the entity which I want to offset and now here we can see the arrow direction which suggests the direction in which we want offset to be but let's say i want the offset to be in opposite direction of arrow and i want the offset to be 10 mm in order to perform this kind of offset we might need to provide the value in negative such that we can create a negative offset or offset in opposite direction of arrow now let me quickly take some more examples um let's say i'm gonna make this rectangle and i would like to perform the regional offset or the offset across the entire um, you know line segment so in that case i can use loop so the loop style offset help us to offset the whole region in just few click now here we have selected loop and now i'm gonna select any line segment inside the rectangle tool and this time i would like to create an offset of 25 mm in the direction of arrow so this time i have provided value in positive now let me click enter and that's how guys we can perform the loop style offset now let me select this time a chain style offset now let's select my first line segment and second line segment to form chain so here you can see it automatically have selected the middle chain as well but let's say this is not the one that i would like to create offset i would like to create offset with this one line segment so in such scenario you will see the all possible permutation and combination by clicking on next now this time you can see the left hand side line segment got deselected while right hand side line segment got selected and once you meet your favorite permutation and combination you may click on accept and then you may want to define the magnitude of offset and you can set direction by providing positive and negative symbol now again hit enter so in this way guys we can perform offset now let me quickly delete all these entities and we will be covering our last tool of this video which is mirror so in order to utilize mirror tool we need some entities and here i'm gonna create a hole a rectangle and a line segment we may also like to create an ellipse and now we're gonna use or utilize mirror command so in order to utilize mirror tool you need to select the entity first which you want to mirror as soon as you select entity you will see your mirror command now enable now let me deselect it and you will again see the mirror command is now disabled so just select the entity of which you want to create mirror and then click on mirror and if you see on the bottom let's say you are working with a tool that you haven't worked with and you want what action we need to perform then i would always suggest you always follow the message that is there given in message bar or notification bar so as you can see here it is asking us select a straight sketch or entity and edge or a curve to mirror about so here we can select any entities about which we want to mirror this entity so in this case, I would like to select this construction line as a reference. You can see this entity mirror image now get created. And even if I'm going to change some value of it, you will see the another entity is also getting changed. So in this way, guys, we may able to utilize this mirror tool. Now, it's not necessary that you always need to select these construction reference features. You may also mirror about another entities for example let's utilize this line segment 
and that's how guys we have created another mirror or uh, utilizing this line segment now let's select these multiple entities by pressing control button and now we're going to mirror all these entities together now let me click here on this mirror command and let me select this construction geometry and that's how guys we can easily mirror entities utilizing mirror tool i do not want this video to be too monotonous that is why i have created the sketch series in segment if you have got any kind of questions or doubt in your mind please feel free to ask me in comment down below and i will try to answer your question as soon as possible please subscribe to this channel to follow these kind of productivity tutorials and i will catch you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye in our next video we will be covering dimensions and constraints